What were you thinking? The JVG edition. So, Jeff. This is a setup. I can already tell. We want to know. What were you thinking? What was running through your mind the first time you got to coach against your big brother, Stan? I was in Houston, and they were 0-6 coming into the game. Mm -hmm. It was Dwayne Wade's rookie year, and we pummeled him. And so I felt a little bit bad, but not that not bad. Not that bad. Not that bad. See, I think the younger brother never feels bad. It's like the Serena Williams thing. She never feels that bad, whereas Venus always said she felt bad beating up on her youngest. Yeah, I think it's a deep sister. psychosis from getting beat up as a as younger. As a child. Yeah, just I, sort I, I do. Of I think so. As a child. <laughs> Are your kids like that? No. No. <laughs> there you go. All right, you do work our sideline from time to time. I wanted to get your thoughts about what were you thinking when Coach Greg Popovich hugged you during an interview. Yeah, that caught me off guard. That caught me All off right, guard. All right, let's take yeah. a listen here. Seriously. I've never been so nervous in my life, so I asked all the sideline you reporters. Right now. No, all the sideline reporters what to do, how to approach you. They said explore your feelings at the end of the third quarter. So are you? Oh. <laughs> I'm glad you're so happy. <laughs> you did ask him to explore his feelings. I was just so happy they were up 20 going right. into the fourth, right? Can you imagine if I was trying to do an interview with mm. him down seven? Like Mac played for him. I, I don't think yeah. that would have gone over well. I think I would have had my head down and just given a one-word question because he would have given a one-word one response. Answer. Yeah. How do you think he did? I think he did well. I'm just glad to see, you know, the happiness on his face. On which, which guy? <laughs> you no, know Jeff. I've never seen it. <laughs> see, now we're back to the cursing story. No. <laughs> To foul. <laughs> there you go. All right. We've buttered you up enough, right? We've said yeah, yeah. some two nice ones. Yeah, that's good. Okay. You know what we're getting to, right? Yeah, I have to. What were you thinking, Jeff Van Gundy, when you tried to stop Zoe and LJ from fighting 21 years ago? You know, so here it is, and, and you're watching it. And first of all, Miami is was such a dirty team, and we were... <laughs> We were so nice and, and like totally. we had we competed with honor. But anyway, so you know when criminals plead temporary insanity? That was me. I have no thought or no remind remembrance, but if you would have seen Oakley and I saw him last night, he was yes. out there, right? Like he was just smirking at me like oh, man, what is this dude God. doing? You know? I mean he's gonna get killed. Right. And thankfully I had guys like him looking out for me so, so I could act tough mm -hmm. but actually not have to fight morning. Can you imagine if they said, Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> let's, let's go. Listen, playing for him for three years, I understand. In what way? I, well, just, I mean, he's, he's just a, a fireball, a firecracker. Like, he's tough as hell, tough as nails. So what do you guys as players, who are all particularly large humans, Let me tell you something. Think when us when, not large humans. Listen, when this man walks in the room or in the practice, I mean, he has grown men, you know, <laughs> afraid to, to laugh at his jokes and just be themselves. I've seen it. They're walking around on eggshells. No, 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 no. I, Listen, like, pe people love, like, I was a huggable type of guy. Apparently, Greg hey. Popovich hugged you. He means business. <laughs> All right, our last, what were you thinking, Jeff? What were you thinking when Tracy had perhaps one of the most memorable moments of his Hall of Fame career, drops 13 in 33 seconds? Give him what a halftime speech. <laughs> Give him a halftime speech. I'm not sure what I said. I mean, the, not the halftime speech, the but post the, end, game. the post game. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on that. <laughs> but first of all, this is an against. We had played such a horrible game right. up until this point. And the shots you're seeing, they look like, oh, yeah, okay, I remember that. This is against Bruce Bowen, right. Tim Duncan, <laughs> the elite of the elite. He's got four guys between no, him and the basket. It was a joke. Th that spurt showed his incredible ability. And you know what? His shot making wasn't even his best thing. Like I said, I was saying to him on the plane ride in, LeBron James, Rick Barry, and and Mac, they all have some, something in common. They all are going to score at a, this high le high level, like big time score. Not even close to their best trait. Mm -hmm. It was their passing ability. He is one of the elite passers to have ever played. And so you see those scoring things. I could have put together a tape on the passes. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Kyle Lowry did give. Mac his props for that just on to on Wednesday. I wanted to know though his post game speech after you, you like, delivered. You delivered 13 points in 30 like this, seconds. This was like one of the most you know one of the greatest comebacks in NBA history, mm -hmm. and he completely just shot it down. 
in, the, in post game. Come on. Like, we played so awful. I'm telling you, he shot that it down. That was what he walked in and he said? He shot it down. Don't be, you know, don't get all high off of one guy's heroics effort. And it just, I mean, he was just going off. This, I, it was like a one-man <laughs> wrecking crew. We had played so awful. Like, you know, they say you got to, like, honor the process. Well, the process sucked that okay, game. Okay, but can you just be happy? Listen, Is I'm, it that hard to be now, happy in over? front of the team? Right. Like, he... he Basically, he just killed us. I mean, he didn't give no high fives. It was none of that. But I'm sure in the coaching uh, office to his other assistants, he's like, hey, man, we, we, we stole that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, listen, listen, Ewing used to always keep me in line because, like, he would always say, like, hey, don't get so worried about how it happened. Just we yes. got a W. And so he was always my, like, guy who would, like, keep me on in line in that way well we we, we hope that only now now he's older and wiser and saw not anyone actually